Ago, Grunk, the world's first supervillain, ruled the Earth. Ooh. Bow before Grunk! Roar! <laughs> the early supers tried to stop Grunk, but they were no match for his dino army. <laughs> then, Maximan arrived! Save you with my prehistoric freeze breath! <laughs> Und Maximan froze Grunk for all eternity, or the end of the universe, or until a really hot day, whichever comes first. I can't remember. The end! Yay! <laughs> ah! You've heard Grunk's story. Now get ready to see Grunk in all his frozen glory! Yay! After a grueling three-hour bus ride through the desert. <laughs> this is the worst field trip ever. What are we even looking at? Whoa. Do not touch Grunk! Can none of you pay attention in class? Who's Grunk? What's a class? Oh! If Grunk were to ever thaw out, we would all be doomed, and cavemen and dinosaurs would once again roam the Earth! Now, to the gift shop for a Grunk tea cozy. Yay! Yay! Come on! Let's go to the gift shop! You can help me pick out some cute Grunk earrings. Ooh! Accessories! <laughs> So, you're the first supervillain ever, huh? You don't look so tough to me. <laughs> That's right, Grunk. Don't mess with me. Glad nobody saw that. <laughs> uh. Thanks, Thumb-Shaped Kid, for releasing Gronk. Um. <laughs> See? No proof at all. <laughs> Gronk returned to his rightful kingdom. First, Gronk needs stick. Then Maximan pay for freezing Gronk. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Kitty. Whatever. Girl. Huh? <coughs> What's going on here? Uh. Perhaps that's why he's already kidnapped her and <gasps> escaped? True love! Eric! I had no idea he felt that way! 
sandwich. <laughs> Drunk irked by pushy human. Make girl sad. Eat him. <laughs> Anything for pretty girl. Pretty? He he was looking at me, right? Right? <laughs> no. No. <Thanks>. no. <laughs> yes! No. Grunk will finish off humans with power of fire! That's not fire, dude. It's a sandwich. I can't believe he picked Kitty! I can't believe he took my sandwich. I can't believe this tea cozy. <sighs> okay, I think we pinpointed Grunk's hideout. But now we need a plan. You got any ideas? I don't know. Maximan froze Grunk the first time, so I guess all we need is Maximan. Trevor, you're a genius! I know, right? You want to invest in my mayonnaise light bulb? Oh, Grunk, sorry about mess. Grunk have terrible roommates. Grunk like girl. That's nice. <gasps> Grunk make girl romantic dinner. Uh, this may take a while. Yeah, I got that. I'll save you, Maxim Man. Grunk no like Maxim Man. Then what about Maxim Men? That mean Gronk hates twice as much! Hmm. I'm not a whiz with math, but the caveman's right. Let's see how Maxim Man defend against ultimate weapon! Ah! Wait, that's dino poop, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Ah! Huh. Gronk no account for dodging. Hold still! Ugh. Eric! I knew you'd come! So what's the plan? This is it. We were hoping that two Maximen would confuse his primitive brain and he would just give up. Um, that doesn't seem like much of a plan. Uh, <gasps> Grunk confused. Grunk give up. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. But they no give up. <laughs> I knew I should have doubted you. I'm so hungry! <laughs> well, I'm not. Uh. Awesome! <laughs> what is that? <sighs> Drunk make dinner for pretty girl. We have meat, other meat, meat chunks, meat sickles, four cheese souffle infused with jasmine, Where's meat? And finally... <gasps> That's it! I have to save that sandwich! And kitty. And kitty! And I know just who to call. Let me get this straight. You want me to help you to help kitty? Get real. But Vanna, you're our only hope! Later, Needles. Oh, wait. Maybe not. You know what, Vanna? We don't really need you anyway. After all, we have Kitty. Dude, that makes me feel weird. You remember Kitty, right? She's the bravest, the smartest, and the prettiest sidekick in the whole world. It's no wonder Grunk picked her instead of you. Right, Vanna? Vanna? Yeah! 
what up with Ugly Kitty? Do you think she'll come back? Yeah! Of course! Just as soon as she forgives us. Oh. Uh, don't worry. After the first thousand years, time just fly by. I spy with my little eyes something that starts with ice. Oh. <laughs> guest speaker with a very special announcement. Please be rocket underwear. Please be rocket underwear. <laughs> Good morning, sidekicks. Today, I am excited to share with you a technological breakthrough which will change the world of sidekicks forever. Yay! No longer will you risk life and limb assisting supers. I'm listening. No longer will you be pummeled, beaten, and blown up. Oh, yeah? Never again will you have to wash your supers unmentionables. Sing it to me, brother. Behold the future. Please be rocket underwear. Of sidekicking. Laser-operated individual digital sidekicks. The Lloyds. Fine then, I'll just make my own. You are all obsolete. The Sidekick Academy is closed. Forever, ever, ever. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> uh. <sighs> Freedom! <laughs> I'll never have to get beaten in the name of sidekicking again. Well, that's fine for you, Needles, but I was born to be a sidekick. It's my one and only dream. And if the school closes, when will I see you? Don't worry. You can still drop by the mansion. Hmm. <laughs> you got it! No way! I won't stand for this! No machine can replace me! Yeah! Oh, they're good. Whoa! I just want to tell you all how much I'm not going to miss you. I'm not going to miss you. Or you. Or really any of you. Good riddance. <laughs> High five, everyone! <laughs> yeah! Ugh! <laughs> oh, come on, this is a great day. No more sidekick school. No more painful tests to fail. No more putting our lives in danger. Then again, if I'm not a sidekick, I won't be able to live in the Maxim Mansion anymore. And I guess I'll have to go back to the orphanage. I'll lose everything. Those robots have got to go. Who's with me? Once again, I'm talking to nobody. Hey, Maxim Brain, open up! We need to get rid of the Lloyds before they ruin everything for everyone, especially me! Also, we gotta fix this door. Since you are no longer a sidekick, you can no longer be staying in the mansion. <laughs> But I thought maybe you could help me. Oh, what is that I'm hearing? Oh, yes, the sound of someone who is leaving. <laughs> Fine, I get it. I'll just take my things and go. Actually, all of your things were replicated here in the mansion and are property of Maxim Corp. I'll be taking them back and then we'll be giving them to the orphans. But I am the orphans! Hey! <laughs> They can take my job, my home, even my clothes. But they can't take away my dignity. Oh. 
Yes? <laughs> Trevor, what happened? You grew an evil goatee? Nah, it's licorice. Want some? My chin sweat makes it salty. Mmm, yum! Hey, wanna see some cool stuff I invented since the school closed? The super fun skin melting ray, the sparkly bone crusher, and the fun day device. Don't point that at me, it's a doomsday device! No, uh, it's a fun day device. What does it do? Spread doom, but in a fun way. See? <laughs> Oops. All these gadgets are totally evil. Yeah, right. Next, you'll tell me my pet gargoyle collection is evil, too. Anywho, you want to help me get rid of the Lloyd so we can go back to being sidekicks again? Sure. What's a Lloyd? And where can I get a garbage bag pantsuit like yours? It's divine. You're a lot calmer than I thought you'd be after the whole Lloyd takeover thing. Uh, we thought you'd be a little more, uh, tense. I thought I would be too, but you know, I've really grown and found my center by doing normal, non-sidekick stuff. I've been doing a little light reading, knitting, making exact replicas of Lloyd out of my earwax. Vanna, would you like to get rid of those robots? The robots that took away your chance to be a hero? The robots that ruined your life? Would you like to do that with us? Huh? Would you? Yes, I believe I would. Chance! Wow, they had such a ginormous chance. Totally. Yeah, huh? For sure. Curse these brutal mechanical marvels! Aw, thanks! We don't stand a chance. The Lloyds are amazing sidekicks. Sidekicks, maybe. But they're no match for full blown superheroes! Wow, there's so much more than a match for full-blown superheroes. I know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? There's only one thing left to do. Invent yogurt shoes, dibs on rhubarb. No, if we want our old jobs back, we've got to go into the very heart of darkness where heroes dare not tread. You mean like the Congo? <laughs> the horror. The horror. No, we need to go to the evil side of town and call upon the worst supervillain the world has ever known! Ooh, visitors! I'm all a Twitter! Zox? What happened to you? I am a changed man. Tell me about it. Since the Lloyds got rid of all you good guys and took the fun out of being bad, I decided to retire from Evile and get the old band back together. <laughs> Here's our new album. Hey, tell me what you think. Be honest, but gentle. I think I'm gonna be sick. Honestly and gently sick. Are you telling me that the world's greatest supervillain has been defeated by a bunch of goody-goody robotic sidekicks? I wasn't defeated! I told you I retired to pursue my music. I'm through with all that nasty, evil stuff. You take that back! Aw, that's too bad, Zox. We were gonna try to destroy the Lloyds. You know, crush them. Name them! Blow them up! Forget it, Eric. Sweater vest here wouldn't be interested. Sweater vest? Ah, I hate those Lloyds more than I hate pop music and sweaters and, and, 
tea! And I really don't like the drum mix on the third track of our album, either. Totally! Join me, my villainous brothers, as we destroy this plague of mechanical goodness and once again spread evil throughout Splitsboro! I love it! Now let's cause some destruction! <laughs> are going down. Wow, they did not go down. <laughs> no, You're telling me yeah. they did not go down. Curse you, Lloyds, and your brutal tyranny! And thanks. So that's it. We lost. It's all over. <coughs> I wish we could just pack up, leave the robots behind, and move to a new town. Hmm. <laughs> shall call new Splitsboro, Splitsboro, and never speak of its newness again. <laughs> yeah. This new city is great. Yep, a clean slate. A town where heroes can be heroes. And villains can be villains. And sidekicks can be sidekicks. Yeah. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we had some kind of cool robots who could help us out and do our work for us? Hmm. Oh.